Hello, I'm Parish Pradhan, Principal Consultant at CA Technologies, and I focus on helping customers improve their application deployment processes with CA release automation. And today I'm going to talk about multi-tier deployments, a key feature and a capability of our release automation solution. Today in this application economy, what we see is that customers really are working on very complex, multi-tiered, distributed applications, very composite applications. And a typical application deployment may require you to deploy your changes to all the different tiers, like your application servers, your database servers, your web servers, across multiple servers, all within a single deployment. In addition to that, there may be other dependencies that may have to be enforced. Uh, for example, you may have to wait to deploy your application changes to your application server until the database deployment has completed. So CA release automation really enables you to automate and manage this complexity, replacing many manual processes we see our customers using today and eliminating the need to maintain deployment runbooks. CA's release automation solution solves this problem by automating and orchestrating the deployment of complex distributed applications to each tier and specific servers in a specific defined order. What that means is we do this by allowing cross-server type dependency within a deployment process. This means that within a single process, you can have different parts of the deployment process executing on different tiers with each linked together. So for this demo scenario, we're going to deploy a multi-tiered application called Online Booking System. On the front end, we have application running on JBoss application server, and on the back end, we have uh, MySQL database going. And we are going to use this one process, not multiple process, one process where we will go out and uninstall all the, the JBoss application. And then before we do anything else, um, uh, install the JBoss applications, we will move on to the back end, deploy our database changes, then come back to our application server again, go through the list of JBoss applications and deploy the application. The key point being all this is happening within one single application and different parts are orchestrated trading, different parts are happening on different tiers. I have set up an application in a release operations center here where we are using the template to do a full application deployment, a full um, multi-tier deployment, where I have a deployment plan already set up and we will execute a deployment. The first thing it does as soon as we execute the deployment is it distributes the artifacts to all the right servers. It distributes all the application um, changes to all the um, application servers and database changes to all the database servers. Now I want to switch um, our view to over to execution view. So we can look at how this process is executing real time. As you can see, first thing it does, it checks to see whether or not JBoss is running. Uh, and then it starts the JBoss server and gets the version. And it goes through, gets the list of all the applications, uninstalls all of them. And then before it does anything, then moves on to the database server, it executes all the database scripts, comes back out to the JBoss server, goes through, gets the list of all the JBoss application, and then finally uh, installs them. So the cross-server type dependency allows us to have one process, different parts within that process orchestrating on different tiers, but linked together. So here within this full deployment process, we have uh, a flow that works on the front end server, and, which is the JBoss server, and the back end, another flow uh, works on the back end server, which is our database server. So this is the power of multi-tier deployments.